Well, good morning, Calvary. Thanks for tuning in for your word for the day today. My name is Robert, one of the pastors here, and we're so grateful to have you watching uh, each and every day. I also love uh, several of you often will find me and just say how much you appreciate word for the day and how how it helps you follow Jesus. And that's really what we love to hear. Yeah, it's great that you enjoy them and it's a great way to start your day, but we really love to hear how this helps you follow and love Jesus in a more intentional way in your life, because that's why we do this. Each and every day we provide this for you uh, to help you navigate life uh, and, a, and better honor and glorify God in every area of your life. Uh, and so today as we, as we look at this, uh, I've got a question for you, and that is, what do you do when you become angry? Because we all have uh, there are inward wired responses to certain emotions, and anger is, is exactly that way. All of us respond in a, a consistent way in our life generally. Some of you, uh, maybe you get violent and you want to, to just express that physically in violent ways. Maybe you uh, express that with your words, uh, and maybe it's some kind words or some very unkind and hurtful things. Maybe you're the opposite. Maybe in anger you retreat and withdraw and want to be isolated and alone. You, you create distance. Maybe the silent treatment is your preferred way to express anger. I don't know how you express anger, but I do want us to pause and say, how do we navigate anger in a way that honors and glorifies God? See, Ephesians 4.26 says this. It says, be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your anger. Now, growing up, I've heard this passage quite a bit, and I always saw that people would focus in on the last part of that passage. Oh, don't let the sun go down in your anger. You have to resolve it today. And that's great when it's possible, so far as it depends on you to live at peace with others, Scripture says. It's great to say, hey, if it's possible, we're going to resolve this today. Sometimes it's not. But I think we gloss over the first part of that. And we hear, be angry and do not sin. See, Anger is an emotion, and anger in and of itself is not sinful. In the same way that that loneliness and sadness or disappointment, joy and excitement, those are all emotions that we feel, and they are not sinful. So we have to understand that there's a difference between the feeling and emotion of anger and our intentional responses and reaction to those situations. So today, let me ask you, how do you react to anger? How do you respond in those situations where you experience anger in your life? And are those reactions and responses things that glorify and honor God, or are they things where you're expressing and leaning into sinful desires and motivations? See, if I'm honest in my own life, there's times where I respond to anger in a very healthy and God-honoring way, and there's times where I express it with things that are not honoring and glorifying to God, but instead are leaning into my own sinful desires and motivations. And so my my desire for you today is for you to examine, how do I respond when I get angry? And then take the next step of how do I start changing that in whatever way that you express it to be more honoring to God? A couple ways that you can do that. First, pray and ask God to bring clarity and wisdom to it but also to help you change that area of your life to be more honoring to Him. God's going to hear and and, uh, appreciate our requests. He's going to be at work in your life, leading and guiding you in that. Second thing that you can do is ask some people around you, hey, what do you see? And this is the, the risky thing to do, but to sit down with your spouse or a coworker or someone you know really well and say, hey, when I get angry, what do I normally do? If you're struggling to see those reactions, that's a great way to do it. But it's also a great way to start building some accountability in your life of people that say, hey, you're, you're, you're going to that place again here. And the third thing to do is to start intentionally changing your reaction. You've got to intentionally say, okay, I'm being mad. I normally want to do this, so I'm going to do this instead. You have to start reprogramming your, your emotional responses to say, I want to normally lash out in violence or, or, or say some, some words that are hurtful or I normally want to retreat and, and, and harm this relationship in terms of presence. You need to step back and say, okay, I'm going to respond differently here. Because at the end of the day, we can't avoid our emotions, but we can change how we respond to them. And we have to understand that the emotion of anger is not sinful, but our actions very well may be. So today I pray that you would gain clarity in your life of how you navigate these situations that may cause anger and frustration in your life and that you would begin to change your responses to be more honoring to God so that you could say that in your anger you did not sin. Hope that you have a great day, Calvary. We'll see you next time.